Yo, what's good, traders? It's your boy TJ. Haven't uploaded in a while. I'm going to start sending every single trader take on this main YouTube channel. I'm going to be uploading one every two days, maybe one every day, because at the end of the day, I trade pretty much most days. Even if it's one or two trades, I always want to make percent. I'm always there to make a percent. My analysis breakdowns will be on this channel. You don't need to pay for it. Everything's free. I've got a React channel which I upload one every two days, but I'm gonna start uploading every single day on that. The content grind is here. We have got six weeks till Christmas. If you need to get funded, join up the free Telegram group. Link is in the description. Been absolutely smashing it. And that's why I'm making these videos. I took a massive break from YouTube. We've got the shorts going as well, two days a week. But the break I took was needed. I needed to reset my mindset. It's not always about uploading content, you know. I am a trader, I need to make profit myself. Making profit is me trading, not making content for you guys. So, in the end of the day, I've got to do what i got to do for myself. And that was reset, go to Dubai, come back, take three months off, and then start absolutely smashing it out. And that's exactly what I've done. If you're not following my stuff already, then you're missing out. Trust me, I'm not like these other fake traders. I can actually fucking trade. I don't need to follow anyone else's stuff. I'm all based off my, my own knowledge, my own thoughts. And that's why you're gonna learn from me because at the end of the day, it's all pure, it's all natural, nothing's fake. And I'm calling shots like there's no tomorrow. One trade win, one trade loss, the same sort of trade, but I use tighter sales, so sometimes you get wicked and then you gotta get back in. But the entry when you get back in is so much better. The risk reward plays a big part in that, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into this video, let's get down to this breakdown. Let me teach you how to actually trade gold. And then subscribe, hit the notifications on because in the end of the day, I am the gold master in this industry. I don't care what anyone else says. I'll challenge anyone to a challenge in this industry because I know for a fact that when it's live, they wouldn't be able to out trade me. So let's fucking do this. All right, jumping on the charts now. These buys, they're nothing special, but it's a 7% trade. Now, this 7% trade is purely manipulation because we're gonna see sales all the way back down at least a retest 1643. We saw Tokyo last night buy scalp up and you know we just staggered. Look at the 15 minutes, lower high has not been taken out. Easy stuff pull up here, but easy retest. And obviously, I don't really use small time frames, but they help with confirmation. Now, let me show you one each and it'll be a bit better because the thing is, traders don't talk about overall market directions, and this is like their problem. People can't really trade properly with gold they can't see real market directions now you've seen the pull one two three up here yeah we've seen triple touch now we see it sell all the way to 1642 and wick out we're going to see a head and shoulder pattern back down to at least 1642 before we see buys back further probably to 1674 retest now the reason for that is as i said before we've got the three highs overall sells in the market right now triple touch pull all the way down Pull up, pull up, pull down, pull up. Now we see the, the highs being here formed as a retest. We see it pull down, but pull back up to the highs of the lows. Now this is where it found orders. We've seen it touch below. We have to now think as a trader, at some point, we got to look. And this is why the sales right now that I'm in, these are the, I'm in sales right now as well, but this is a buy analysis, right? You're thinking, Lower high body respected, everything like that respected. Previous highs to lows. You're thinking a retest at least at 1663 up here. In this body right there. Or you're thinking 1667 to 1670. And that's all to looking at different time frames. And these are all areas. What goes up must come down. And normally what goes down goes back up again to a retest. And it's all about weighing out the pros and cons of a trade. Now, the way you get confirmations is from market direction. Triple touch, one touch, two touch. We haven't free touched yet. We haven't even sold off yet. But these buys, we see it pull up. And then we know from the lower high here, because it's staggering, we know we're going to see support on this body, which is why we got in on the body. Now, that's why I'm thinking... I'm in sales right now, but I'm in sales to 1642. I want to see it pull back more a little bit because I see further highs back up again. I see further highs back up 
at some point and we could even go up now obviously huge bullish momentum we're not seeing much set off at the moment but with the buys it was a beautiful trade tp smash you made seven percent i took five percent from the trade i like to get out just before and i'm obviously i'll talk about the sales in another video because i'm uploading every single trade i take but staggering up pullbacks easy buys 7 a.m london opens manipulation upwards push up which we call beautiful stuff and then that's why I'm in sales right now, back down for a quick retest. And then New York, I'll talk about it in the next video. But join up the free trades, it's all in there. Insane buys, easy, easy scalp entry buys as well. And it's been your boy TJ. Subscribe, like the content, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.